As AI technology continues to advance, it holds the potential to greatly enhance human productivity, creativity, and well-being when used correctly. One of AI's strongest assets is its ability to handle vast amounts of data, and so the opportunities for its use within the health sector are enormous. We notice even there are many AI projects in healthcare, only a few of them have been adopted in healthcare settings. It means there are some obstacles on this path. The scientists investigated those obstacles and identified the actions to be taken to facilitate the transition of AI from research to clinical practice. They summarized the findings and defined a three-step framework for AI implementation. All the steps are interconnected to their components. They work like a mechanism with many gears working together. Each gear is in important for the whole mechanism to work. In the framework, you will see that every step has its own components. The planning components are prerequisites for the further steps, which consist of seven components. The planning phase is the foundation of the implementation process. You must raise awareness about what AI is among healthcare professionals, authorities, and the general population. You should know in advance that you have enough resources, competence, and enough data with good quality. Can the current infrastructure handle AI tools? Who is responsible for the regulations and how are they interpreted? Is private data preserved well enough? The second step is development or procurement. Healthcare providers uh, decide either to develop or purchase AI tool uh, corresponding to their available resources and competences. The third step is maintenance and validation, which includes all components of the system and should be performed by a group with diverse expertise. Maintenance of the system is an important and continuous monitoring process, both for identifying the failures and updating the system accordingly. Even if the AI system is successfully validated, implementation is not finished without the completion of the maintenance phase. For each step, the scientists also provided recommendations to authorities and healthcare organizations to promote and facilitate the adaptation of AI in Norwegian healthcare. The recommendations vary from simpler to more complicated. We suggest to have AI-related courses in curriculum of medical students. National open anonymized uh, datasets will help to have a better and easier access to data. Healthcare organizations uh, can cooperate with uh, private sectors to have uh, feasible infrastructures and we have some recommendations to have a unified legislation. It will be efficient to use uh, common validation guidelines for AI uh, systems. Maintenance needs continuous uh, training and performance evaluation of the system. For organizations who want to learn more, the framework and the recommendations are free for all and available at the Norwegian Centre for eHealth Research. Here you will find reports and articles that will go deeper into the topics of this film. We believe that this research will help projects and organisations to have quicker and smoother journey from the development to implementation.